Hey guys, Whispertag Lego here. Today we have two new mocks. Um, the first is a section of Krelia, and it includes a area for Moloch's hounds and some extra road sections here on the left. And on the right is my uh, modified Moloch's land speeder. I took the set and modified it because I wasn't super happy with the set. It looked great, but it didn't have a whole lot of features. So I fixed that and that is what I'll be showing you in this video today. We'll slide this off to the side. Start with this mock. This is built around a section of train track, which runs down here along the middle, and a uh, road base plate, this one here, which is nice and flat. There is a Star Wars themed street light, a ladder to climb up to the top of the building, a neat doorway that has, uh, let's see, six sides. What is that, a hexagon? And it's rimmed with gold tiles. And there's also a cloth piece hanging over the back side, which really makes it look Star Wars-y. Um, here on the back, the uh, floor is nicely tiled, so it's smooth, but I left a few studs for minifigures and such. This is sort of Moloch's keeper of the hounds. This is a story I made up. This isn't anything from the movie. So Moloch has this hound keeper guy. He's a custom minifigure. He feeds the hounds and trains them. This is the hound pen. You, you can see there's one hound in it there. He's got some food on the floor and in his food bowl. He's got crates of bones, a chain, and on the back there's a sink. Bunch of greebles on the back as well. Some brown pipes, dials, and then this red robot over here. I guess he's here to be sort of a uh, messenger for Moloch, making sure that the keeper is still doing his job. So that's about it for this mock. It's kind of small, but it's really detailed. There's a crate out in the front. It's got some uh, credits and some coaxium in it. And this crate actually fits in the modified uh, Moloch land speeder. So let's check that out. Moloch's land speeder doesn't look a whole lot different from the original set. Um, some people who have the set might be able to tell that it's a lot more tiled. The actual set had more studs on it, and I switched out some pieces so that it would be smoother. But other than that, the exterior of Hawksland Speeder is about the same, aside from a few printed pieces on the sides that I added, and the back, which is quite a bit different. Um, we'll go from the front and move on to the back. The Molex Land Speeder set doesn't have a whole lot of functions. Pretty much the only one is the stud shooter that shoots when you spin the disc on the side. Other than that, all it did was you could fit some hounds in the side, you could put Moloch in the cockpit, and you could open the back up and fit very small things into it. And so it's quite big, but they didn't utilize all the space in it very well. So what I did is I sort of hollowed out some of the sections and made them openable and added a lot of functions. So one function is that you can pop this tile off here and see inside, you can see the gears that make the stud shooter work. I don't know why you need to see the gears, but I think it's pretty cool. You can open this part here. It's sort of like the hood, and inside there are some details. Here, let me pop this off. There are some engine details and greebles inside there. And all of that was my own design. The actual set didn't have anything inside of it like that. The back looks a lot better now. I filled in a lot of extra spaces where you could see Technic parts. I redesigned the hatch on the back, a different shape now. The exhausts are a different color. The set came with orange exhausts, but in the movie they're blue, so I switched that out because blue is more accurate. The back hatch still opens, and there's much more space inside than there was in the original set. I uh, switched out some pieces in there so you could fit something that's four studs by four studs inside. This is my own design of a hound cage. It's got some bones and chains and stuff, and so it just slides in there. You can actually fit two hounds if you want. But there's quite a lot of space in there. You can pop this part off too to see inside. The studs in the back there are in case you want to put a minifigure inside. You can put their feet on the studs and it'll fit. Got a nice tiled floor. You can also fit the box from earlier, the crate, inside. You can pretty much fit whatever you want as long as it's not too big. The other function I added was the fact that these engines can come off. They're built as sub-assemblies in the set. 
put on the ship and then they're layered with plates on the top and the bottom so that they don't come off. I changed that so that they snap off using Technic pins and headlight bricks so that they snap on. And the inside of the engines is a lot less colorful now. I added some greebles in there. I also made it so that the engines can be snapped together so that they look like this. It kind of looks like an escape pod, but unfortunately there's not enough space inside for a minifigure. But it's just a cool function that they can connect together like this. And you can pop them back apart, put them on the ship. So yeah, that's about all the changes I made. Bottom isn't any different. Um, that's really all. But yeah, this, this I think would have been a better set if they had made the set more like this with more functions. And I feel like more people would have bought this set because this is not super well-known set because it's slightly overpriced and not a whole lot of people bought this set but I think it's a great set and if LEGO had made these modifications to it, it would have been even better. Well, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed these two mocks. I mean, you could ca call this a mock. Um, this mock and set modification, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. And that's about it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, always remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. And don't forget to ring that bell.